Hi everyone, I'm Jackie Cassell, and I graduated from the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences in 2015. And welcome to Alumni Experts. Today I'm going to show you how to do dynamic stretches and drills that you can do before any physical activity. I was on the track and field and cross country teams at DePaul all four years, and these are drills and stretches that my teammates and I would do before every workout, easy run, and race. Anybody can benefit from these drills and stretches because it's a good way to loosen your muscles and warm your body up before you do any physical activity, whether it be soccer, basketball, a run, or even just a walk around the block. It really warms your body up and gets your mind into a zone where you're ready to do any physical activity. So the first drill I'm gonna show you is side lunges. Really simple, just gonna open up your leg like this, rock back and forth, and then turn. The goal is to keep your body not going above your toes. Just all, the bend is all in your knees. Some people like to hold their arms out like this. Some people can keep it on their hips. You really want to feel the stretch in your hamstrings, in the front, the quads, the back, the hamstrings right here. And again, don't put your knees over your toes and keep your chest as high as you can like this. Next, we're going to do A skips. So I'll show you the side version first. In slow motion, it's almost like a running form like this. So keep your toe pointed and you're going to raise your go on your tippy toes of your other foot and switch. Head on, it looks like this. You're bringing your knees up to your chest. Again, keep your toe pointed and you're jumping on your toe that's on the ground. Make sure you're including your arms in this too because you want to warm up your arms. So normally what I do is I go 10 out that way, 10 out back way. Just do whatever feels good. Make your legs feel nice and loose. Next, I'm gonna show you butt kicks. Pretty self-explanatory, just gonna kicking your butt. So side profile. Again, when your foot comes up, you wanna make sure your toe is flexed. It's called the dorsal flexion. It activates the rest of your leg and you want your heel to be touching your butt. Again, make sure your arms are in it because you want, want to warm those up as well. Just like the stretch before, you can go 10 out that way, 10 out back way, just whatever you need to do to feel loose. The next dynamic stretch I'm gonna teach you is high knees. So similar to the A skips before, we're gonna be bringing our knees up to our chest and keeping our toes flexed, but it's gonna be much faster. To be honest, these are my least favorite drills, but they're most effective because they really get your heart pumping and all the blood rushing through your body. So side profile, it's gonna look like this. You wanna make sure your arms are moving, your knees are going quick, and you're landing on your toes. Those are high knees. The next dynamic stretch I'm gonna teach you is high kicks. Pretty simple, you're just gonna kick up. You wanna try and touch your toes, kick as high as you can. I am not flexible at all, so I can't kick very high, so just do whatever feels comfortable. You don't wanna to feel too much of a pull in the hamstring, but you will feel it a little bit and it'll feel like a good stretch. I especially like to do those after the high knees because it gets the heart rate back down to center. The next stretch I'm going to teach you is a cross-legged pull. So you're going to put your leg in front of you like this, hold your knee, hold your ankle on the shin bone, and just pull up. If you want, you can go on your tippy toe to get another little stretch, but it's not necessary. I like to do these 10 out and then 10 back.
You should really feel the stretch in your glute back here. All right, Blue Demons, the final dynamic stretch I'm gonna teach you are arm swings. Simple as it sounds, you're just gonna swing your arms backwards, forwards. You can do one arm at a time, do the other arm. You can do it standing, or what I prefer to do is uh, putting a little jog into it, because you can really get a full momentum swing. So I'll do backwards first. And forwards. Do a little front shake like this. Just loosens up the shoulders nicely, gets your arms ready for whatever sport or physical activity you're gonna do next. That's most of my pre-workout routine. I hope you all enjoyed it, took some ideas away. Thanks for watching this Alumni Experts video. Uh, I encourage you, if you wanna learn more about dynamic stretching and the benefits of it and get more ideas, go on YouTube and just type in dynamic stretches.